مخالفین رژیم جنبوز اسلامی تشریف فرما شدن و همه ما را خوشحال نمونید بسیار سپاس بزارد با صدای آزادی خواهان به صاحب نظران مطبوعات و ارتباطات جمعی به رادیو تلویزیون های آزاد جهان ما امروز قدرت آن را داریم که صدای حقانیت ما مخالفین دولت جمهوری اسلامی را به جهانیان برسانیم ابتدا خواستم به این ندای آزادی خواهان جهان یعنی مطبوعات و ارتباطات جمعی رد و تلویزیان ها هستونم که مخالفین رژیم جمهوری اسلامی همه با هم در برچیدن نظام جمهوری اسلامی متحد هستیم We want to inform the mass media of the entire world, U.S. in particular, that the Iranian opposition groups are united against bringing an end to the Islamic regime in Iran. In Ittahadinam, Bishyar Muhammad, Zira, Hamei Anvi Shahari, Mokhalib Jambuzi Islami, امروز اعلام میکنیم که بین ما کمال سمیمیت بر علیه دولت دیوانه جمهوری اسلامی برقرار شده است This is an extremely important gathering because we want to inform the whole world that a group of Iranian opposition representatives of Iranian opposition have gathered together to show that Iranian opposition is united against the Islamic Republic in Iran. Ma va hame Iraniyan chi dar dakhil va chi dar kharij va istibdad, khushunat va tajawuz be huquq zanan va terror insan ha mukhalifin. We Iranians are totally against this uh, despotic regime. and its total uh, disregard of human rights, particularly those of Iranian women, and its engagement in brutality against the Iranian people, uh, we are totally uh, against these activities. We are all for We are all support freedom, democracy, and we are against any kind of uh, prejudicism against various groups, be it based on opinion or ethnicism in Iran or being uh, against gender, women in particular. We are all for freedom. and democracy in Iran. Javanan, Bonavan, Dar Benavan, Dalai, Guru, Musabi, Ba Barabar, Ba Mardan, Hassan. We want the whole world to know that women and youth have equal rights in our society. Hamei Ahad Millet Iran, Ham Azzan Umar, Dar Mughabir Ghanun Dolati, Musabir Guru, Wail Basha. We believe that All segments of the Iranian population, men, women, youth, have equal rights and justice. Having said this, we would like uh, 
Dr. Hanbury to start this uh, press conference. Uh, we make a note that Dr. Hanbury has different political opinions than Mr. Ahmed, but we're all here united today, and uh, Dr. Hanbury is going to start the press conference. Thank you, Mr. Ahmed, and uh, for your kind comment. And, uh, uh, how we want to do it? Uh, I think we start from here and go, and uh, at the end I will have some few comments. But uh, we have each one of us have five minutes. Uh, in, we start with our prepared comment, and then uh, I open the floor for the uh, audience to ask their question. And I uh, ask audience to please ask your question related to topics today, and uh, I hope that uh, the question that has been put in the news release would be the. Um, focus of this discussion, hopefully we get uh, some answers from the uh, panelists of uh, this important meeting. Uh, Dr. Masali, it's your turn. Let's say a statement about the, these points that uh, we are going to uh, discuss about that. First, the oppressive and the terrorist regime of mullahs in Tehran does not represent the Iranian people. The nuclear, nuclear energy program pursued by this reactionary and terrorist regime must be completely stopped or strictly controlled under the supervision of international agencies. Two, the vast majority of the Iranian people desperately want the demise of the Mullah's regime and they want a democratic secular government. Any negotiation with the Mullah's regime or with the factions within the regime is absolutely against the wish and the interests of the Iranian people. Three, the need for the regime change in Iran is undeniable. Therefore, we appeal, appeal to all free nations and the democratic institutions in the world to support the Iranian people in their struggle for establishing democracy and the modern government in Iran. Four, I believe if the Mullah's regime does not peacefully yield to, to the wish of the Iranian people, for establishing a secular democratic government, the need for some military action to replace the regime may become imminent. Five, the experiences from the event of the 1979 in Iran have revealed that there is the fact that alliance of all Iranian opposition groups is not a feasible approach towards establishing a separate democratic government in Iran. The only practical approach is the unification amongst the Iranian democratic forces. Six, the international community should make an arrangement for arresting the terrorist leaders of the Islamic Republic and bring them to international crime courts. Arrangements should also be made for freezing the assets of the Islamic Republic abroad for financing the struggle of the Iranian people against the Mullah's regime. Seven, we demand equal rights for all ethnic groups in Iran, but are against any separatist movement treating, treating the territorial integrity of the country and leading to a potential civil war. Thank you very much. My name is Mandela Zan Karimi Yudin, and uh, I am with the Alliance of Iranian Women. Uh, our purpose is to defend the human rights and the dignity of the women and children of Iran that has been shattered during the last 27 years. At this time of history, what the world needs is peace in the Middle East and movement, democratic movement 
for the people of the Middle East, not the dictator regimes. In Iran, the regime of Iran, as long as they have the support of European countries, the Russians and the Chinese, this regime will be strong and will suppress any uprising and any opposition that the people uh, face them with. The only way to help the people of Iran to overthrow their own dictator regime is for the, for the international community to understand that they should stop supporting and talking about negotiating, talking, and appeasing the mullahs in Iran. Once the mullahs or the regime in Iran understands that they have no support, none whatsoever, from the international community, they are weakened. And that way the people are strengthened and they will have the courage and they will have the commitment to stand against this brutal regime. And at that point, the regime will understand that oppression and uh, killing and imprisoning the people will not stop the people. Our request from the international community is that after 27 years of oppression in Iran, the people of Iran are asking, as they supported and united against South Africa, racial apartheid, they should unite against Iran's gender apartheid. Apartheid is apartheid. It should not be acceptable by any community, any country, if they claim human rights and democracy. Therefore, our request from the international community is, one, to stop negotiating and appeasing the regime of Iran. And once they do that, the regime will not have, understands that there is no support for them, will be weakened and the people will be empowered <coughs> to stand against them. And that's all we need. We don't think we need any bombs or any war in Iran. All the international community needs to do is to vote, sanction the regime of Iran, and uh, freeze their assets, do not allow the, uh, the, the regime members travel outside Iran, and, and put the sanction on the regime, and let the regime understand that there is no support for them from outside Iran. Thank you. Hello, my name is Imad Parsian, and I'm a representative of Hakwa Movement, I'm sure you're familiar with, which basically is not a political party, but uh, we emphasize on the uh, empowerment of the people by uh, cultural means, uh, social means, uh, educational means. And we believe that if they understand their actual culture that's been uh, basically buried by uh, the Arab invasion and Mullah's invasion afterwards, they will rise to protect that and to protect Iran and the future of Iran. Uh, they need to know where they came from, who they are, and what their responsibility is, especially at this time of the uh, history. Uh, Iran is a young country with a lot of young minds. They are educated they understand the politics of the world. They understand, the majority of them, what's going on in the country. What they lack is a support, a strong support from the other countries to be able to rise up against 
these mullahs and uh, the brutal uh, regime that's uh, basically killing and destroying anybody. They don't care who who is against them. Even if it's the biggest brain in the world, they don't they don't care to kill and destroy them as long as they can stay there for a little bit longer. So it, it makes it clear that the role of the international community has to be in the support of Iranian people and empower them to rise against this government, uh, get rid of the mullahs, and replace it with a democratic government that people can decide on who is going to be there, when they can get rid of him, they don't like him, and how to handle the government so that they don't rule them, but they give them support and service them. <laughs> Basically, this is our goal to try to educate everybody in Iran that uh, if you understand who you are, what your powers are, and hopefully with the help of other powerful countries, it's, it will be very easy to get rid of the Mullahs. They are very shaken with what's going on. They are being isolated every day. And they are relying only on killings, terrors, and suppression of the country, the people of the country. That's what we need to concentrate, and that's how we can get rid of this regime and replace it with a without destroying a country, replace it with a, with a government that the entire international community could live with and it would support them and they would support it to build a real Iran that we had a long time ago and we can't have again. Thank you. I have uh, also comments to make and then uh, open the uh, floor for the questions. United, United States National Security Strategy document says uh, states that United States face no greater challenge from a single country than Iran. This is based on Islamic Republic government growing weapon of mass destruction and support for radical Islamic uh, movement. Most Iranians also believe that the current regime of Iran is detriment to their individual political freedom, democracy, human rights, and economical well-being, and ultimately their national interest. Islamic Republic of Iran is danger to Iranian as well as uh, the region and the East. Uh, I would like to answer this series of questions that uh, we started and was objective of this meeting. Uh, one, I believe that the uh, Islamic Republic intention for achieving or uh, uh, developing nuclear technology is for in development of nuclear weapon. It has been their intention from the beginning, even the time that they were uh, bragging about uh, Pakistani bomb and Islamic bomb. And Iran could have the access to nuclear technology since they are signatories to, to NPT, non-proliferation treaty. They could have this technology under supervision of IAEA, and uh, mm, uh, they, could, they could have it cheaper, faster, and open. The reason for close to 20 years of secrecy from international mm, uh, monitoring agency like IAEA and uh, other countries, and spending a great deal of money uh, it's all indication of the intention of Iran as far as access to nuclear uh, energy, uh, nuclear technology. 
There are some questions has been raised, particularly from, uh, from some senators uh, in the United States, that they are suggesting we should um, negotiate and talk with Iranian uh, government and someday particularly uh, reference the moderate side of the uh, Iranian regime and the reference Rafat Rasanjani as a um, person to talk with. Uh, our experience shows and experience, having experience of several years of so-called moderate government in Iran and after many years of European trying to insert more moderation in government, Iranian government we have come to the conclusion this government cannot be moderated anymore and it is detriment to their existence they, they have created in the United States and Israel as an enemy for many years and they have based their foundation on that. So even if they want to, even if they, they are willing to talk to the United States, they will not be able to keep their support base in Iran and uh, conduct those of the negotiations. So I believe that negotiation is not going to get us anywhere. Uh, in fact, after we get convinced that moderation is not a way, uh, I mean, uh, negotiation and this uh, government cannot be moderated, then the issue of regime change comes about. That most Iranians are seeking regime change in Iran. What we are not sure is how to do the regime change. It's not that they don't want a regime change, they, they all want a regime change. This regime change, in, in fact, it has become an um, uh, international demand, um, uh, knowing that uh, um, openly um, threatening other countries and uh, um, kind of asking for uh, um, um, problem uh, with the international community. There has been suggestion on sanctions. The host of sanctions has been proposed. Among the sanctions are uh, reduction in the diplomatic exchange with Iran, banning international flight to and from Iran, financial sanctions such as freezing uh, assets of uh, Iranian uh, leaders, trade sanctions such as uh, sales of oil and gasoline. The issue of gasoline is very interesting. Iran imports four to five billion dollars a year gasoline from the country that uh, produce oil. They claim that they want to be self-sufficient in a nuclear technology at the time that they are not self-sufficient in gasoline. In, in, uh, one of the sanctions that the uh, world is trying to impose, or at least they are addressing it, um, uh, unfortunately, in, uh, in both European and in, uh, in the city in, uh, in, in Moscow that was uh, supposed to list the sanctions, they, uh, they all failed, and rightly so. We'll talk about um, why. There are some uh, in, in, uh, other in, in international ban on purchase of oil and others. The problem with all these sanctions, they are time consuming. They take time to get affected. I don't think we have that time. Uh, recently, we heard in the news that Iran is using um, uh, the centrifuge that are P2 version that are much more advanced than P1 and uh, both speed and volume of um, enriching uranium to um, the grade above uh, what is needed for uh, uh, energy um, in power, uh, they start using it and by use of simulation and computer technology, we cannot expect that Iran is going to take them, if they are, if they are announcing that they have already able to enrich uranium for uh, in three and a half percent. If they, you know, they have done that, the time to get to the enrichment to the point that they can you know, purify it for the weapon, it's going to be very short. So none of these sanctions gives enough, I mean, doesn't, in order to be effective, it takes longer than time we have uh, for Iran to have uh, in, uh, another Islamic bomb. Military attack has been proposed. Military attack, um, and I, I'm, I'm sure most of us uh, panelists here you know, don't believe that military attack would be a solution. Particularly if military attack does not lead to, uh, uh, I guess, regime change in Iran, it would have an adverse impact and will make the life worse for Iranian people. 
And uh, the question is, what can be done? I think uh, knowing that political parties are banned in Iran and political activities banned, and even in the outside, up to a few years ago, anybody was uh, doing you know, major activity, political activity in the outside country, were you know, subject to you know, killing and you know, bothering their family in you know, Iran. So that foundation has not been built, is not as strong uh, to uh, kind of uh, take over. The, the, the best way is to, for the international community to support and uh, kind of give help to Iranian to help themselves to change this regime. And that would be good both for Iran and international community. That's my prepared comment, and the uh, floor is open for your question. And uh, if you have any question, I, if it's a target to a particular uh, panel member, I do it uh, referring to them. Otherwise, everyone gets a chance to comment on your question. Any question from audience? I have a question from Mr. Uh, as you call it, in the past year, created a false hope and promises. Um, those promises never materialized. Um, what is the future, future plan for that? Okay, can, I, can I ask something? Uh, I, in, in fact, in, in, uh, before this meeting started, I thought uh, that I would like to talk to the questions to the subject of this meeting. And I, I understand that uh, one of the uh, group participating in this uh, meeting is in Hapa Movement. I, I hope that this discussion doesn't completely turn to each individual organization, but uh, please, uh, Ms. Barsan, you can answer. I appreciate it. Our movement from the beginning was uh, their uh, language was towards the Iranian people in Iran. The idea was for Iranian people to rise up and overthrow the government, as we say now. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. It's not something that's going to happen by somebody's wish. That is going to happen when Iranian people understand how much power they have, how many Hakamanish people are in Iran that could search in their culture, search in, in their uh, civilization, and they don't have to stick to some uh, uh, Arab culture and some mullahs to, uh, to live in Iran. That was the idea, that was the idea that was promoted, that was the idea that uh, uh, was very effective in bringing out people in several occasions. Obviously, when uh, you're talking about overthrowing the uh, brutal regime, it doesn't care at all how many people they kill, as long as they can stay there for a little longer. It's, it's not something that uh, you can give for one person to do. We all have to be united. We all have to have people behind us to be able to make this work. And it's possible, as everybody in this panel agrees. Uh, it's not something that uh, was an occasion and it happened and it's gone. It's an ongoing situation in Iran and outside. We did very hard work of Dr. Yazdi, as you know, that I know personally, he, he doesn't even sleep more than four hours a night to be able to basically cover all the bases. And we really appreciate that. Uh, that's the situation here, and that's why with, their, with his effort, we're getting together to forget about this uh, group discussions, but to talk about a united front against small laws and emphasize on that. So we can make it work, make it happen. Thank you, Ken. Go ahead. I'm just more solid. Now that we can see uh, we are united, how you want to send this message to the world? How can they hear that you guys doing something and you unite? Yes, uh, I have a extra proposal. I think for the beginning, we shall establish an um, independent. TV 
radio station that, uh, that different democratic groups can lead this program and uh, manage all this program and that can be uh, for the swap uh, one side for unification of the democratic forces and the other side also for the education the Iranian people especially the youth in Iran to know what we want and who we are and how the struggle can be planned uh, so I think uh, although we are using different TV stations uh, <coughs> uh, also but I think uh, the quality is not uh, so good for such a kind of struggle that we have that we are planning and also we cannot talk in the government of TV about all subjects you can also come uh, and any of the panelists can uh, volunteer to answer any questions so I don't want to be the one that uh, take time no. can I translate the question for Mr. I'm sure in case you know. sure the question is uh, what uh, solution do you have? Sorry, yeah. Um, <coughs> um, <coughs> um, <coughs> you want to translate and this device to her? No, that's not something I let me translate. Yeah, he's suggesting a number of things. Number one, uh, Mr. Ahmad is suggesting that those elements in the regime that have already been charged with crimes outside Iran, they should be arrested and they should not be allowed to travel freely around the world. And the second thing is to impose meaningful sanctions. So you mean to get them all? رادیو و تلویزیون هایی در دسترس ما بذارن که ما بتوانیم صدای ما رو به داخل ایران ببریم برای که الان اون موج هایی که ما داریم در از اینجا فرستاده میشه در اثر مخشوش کردن اونا صدای ما به داخل نمیرسیم از مستر ماستانی سید از ترد سجیشن از دیت the Iranian opposition groups need a, a unified uh, media so they could uh, broadcast their opinions inside Iran. At the present time, with the available infrastructure, uh, the people of Iran are not able to receive uh, these messages. این احتیاج مادی هم مدد این مبارزه این ندارن از چیز دولتی نه ما پول میخواییم نه احتیاج مادی دیم The Mr. Ahmed says uh, Iranian opposition groups uh, are not asking for any kind of money from outsiders or from other countries so Iranian people uh, can finance this themselves okay. Is anybody who do you want to comment on this uh, topic? Okay. Um, I, I have a, a short comment. The government of Iran was making three points to people. First, that Islamic Republic is the best form of government that you can have. Second, even if it's, it's not us, there is no one else. Third, even if it is, we don't let uh, those who come to the power. One by one, uh, people of Iran have learned to negate this strategy of Jumhur Islam for the state in power. First of all, due to miserable economy that currently we have, everyone knows that this is not the best form of government, individual and for 